facilitated leadership is is something that I think has to be in a modern school, particularly in a in a, a large school. Now, by facilitate by distributed leadership, I mean that the while the school principal might be the last uh, stop in the chain, there are a lot of other people who have the power to make decisions to shape uh, activities that the the responsibility of running the school is shared among a number of people. That's what my understanding of distributed leadership is. So I would think that in establishing school partnerships, you can't do it unless you have distributed leadership, you know, because the principal can't do this all by themselves. They, they have too many other administrative tasks to do. Uh, but a distributed leadership um, pattern will allow you to uh, use the powers, use the the good, the strengths, if you like, of your staff. You have, say, a staff involved in business studies, for example. They can be in charge in liaising with local industries and, and all the the benefits that that can accrue to a school. Um, you may have teachers who are very interested in international project work, they can be involved in e-twinning, they can bring the rest of the world into your school through through these virtual platforms, through virtual project work. But you can't do that as a, as a school principal. You have to empower and trust these people to do it for you. And yes, I think that uh, you can't have school partnerships without distributed leadership, in my opinion.